Say hey. Hey. What's your name? Nayo. What are we going to do today? Um, what, what are we going to do today, Mommy? We're going to go pick some parsnips. We're going to pick some parsnips. And we're going to make muffins? And we're going to make muffins. Are you going to help Mommy? Mm-hmm. What's up guys? So Dom here from Faith Family Homestead. I have my four-year-old Niel here and she's going to be my garden helper today. I have my um, two other daughters, Niel, I mean Nehemiah and Anaya. They are inside making breakfast and cutting up some bell peppers for me. So I have my little garden helper here. We're going to go outside, harvest some parsnips, and then turn them into muffins. So earlier in the spring, I had this bed uh, with parsnips and they need to come out now because they're a cool weather crop and it's definitely very hot for them. And I'm going to get this bed. I already planted uh, one squash in here, but I want to get this bed to summer crop. So we're going to harvest these parsnips. Okay, Nayo, you ready? Mm -hmm. So you're going to grab it at the base right here and you're going to pull it out. It's a white part snip. Uh, Let's see. Oh, those are babies. Let's see a different one. Can I pick this? You're gonna put it inside your bowl. And let's harvest all of them. What is the one here with the Good job. Okay, go to the next one. Do you want mommy to help you? Mm hmm. I do that. I can pull out this one. Yep, you can pull out that one. I see. So in this bed, these are the biggest ones we got, which is like the size of my finger. But the good thing about this recipe is I only need about, I think it's either one or two cups. So shredded. So I think all of these little ones would make about what I need. And I have some other parsnips in another bed. So in this bed, bed right here, I have a few parsnips right here that I'm going to get as well. Let's make a quick stop and adore these lilies, how big they are. That one ripped. It's already falling off. They're so pretty though, right? Okay guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So I harvested those parsnips and they weren't a lot of big ones, but I checked my recipe and I saw that we only need one cup. So I'm gonna get the tops cut off of the parsnips. I'm gonna get them washed off and then in my food processor shredded. And if we're short, a cup so if it's like a half a cup or anything like that i am going to actually use carrots to shred them and it would be just be like a carrot parsnip uh muffin recipe uh i have used parsnips in the past um to make parsnip muffins and they substitute really well for carrots just like a carrot muffin uh the taste is really delicious the recipe that i'm going to be using is called spice parsnip muffins i'll leave a link to it in the description it is not my recipe but it is delicious and I think my kids will really enjoy it. It's a good way to use this harvest. So let's get to it. Okay, so I have my parsnips here and I'm going to shred them in this food processor. Okay, so I got my parsnips uh, all shredded and I'm going to put them in a one cup measure to see if I have enough for one cup. If not, I'm going to add in some carrots. So look at that. 
that was the perfect amount of parsnips and it gives us something to do with all those stragglers that uh, you normally wouldn't you know be eating or anything like that shred them up and turn it into muffins you can do the same thing for carrots that didn't uh, fully have enough time to mature on uh, you know how it gets too hot if you live in the south and your carrots are little baby ones <laughs> turn them into muffins these are all of the tops that I got off the parsnips and I am actually probably going to feed these either to my chickens or put them in my composting bin or I might just bury them. I'm not exactly sure at the moment. I did just feed my worms so maybe chickens it is. Okay so I'm just looking on my phone to make sure I have all the ingredients which I checked quickly earlier. So you just need all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, ginger, they say coconut sugar, I don't have coconut sugar or light brown sugar. I do have light brown sugar, applesauce, eggs, vanilla extract, Greek yogurt. I don't have Greek yogurt, but I'll use sour cream. Uh, did get the parsnips, almonds, honey, and oil or cooking spray for the pan. And this is going to make, I believe, 12 muffins. Yes, 12 muffins. Let me show you. Don't they look so delicious? So I'm gonna add all of my ingredients into this container. It does say use separate containers, but I don't like when recipes say that because I don't like dirtying dishes, honestly. So I'm just going to do the ingredients they say together first, which are the like liquid ingredients, and then I'll do the flour and the bacon powder and all that and it's on top of this. I do have chickens from our eggs. I mean, <laughs> eggs from our chickens over here, and it calls for two eggs. I'm going to add three because my eggs are still smaller than store eggs, I believe. My chickens just started laying maybe a month ago, so I'm going to add three of these, and I am going to uh, crack them in a separate container um, and then add them in. Okay, so next it calls for three fourth cup of Greek yogurt, but like I said, I don't have Greek yogurt, so we're gonna add sour cream. Is this even open? Nope, that's not open. Take two. Okay, so it said milk, uh, <laughs> milk. <laughs> Mix until well combined, and then I will add the dry ingredients in this bowl. Parsnips, I actually really like the uh, smell of parsnips. They taste, I mean, they smell super sweet and I really like them. So I'm gonna be happy for these muffins. Okay, so I already added the one cup of flour. Now I need, and I took out all my ingredients, but I'm going to need, let's see. That's my oven, it just preheated, so we're gonna bake these on 425. It's telling me it's ready. All that noise in the background is my kids are eating breakfast, so I apologize about that. This is real life, and I'm making these muffins for uh, snack. Or I could have it for, for lunch. With some vegetables. Okay, I have everything in here. I'm gonna mix it up. I haven't added in the um, sliced almonds yet. Okay, so I have everything mixed in here, and I have my muffin pan. Uh, I have my muffin pan greased already. I'm 
going to use my one fourth cup measuring cup to measure them in here and then it's said to add almonds on top but i have this much granola in here that i want to use up so i'm actually going to add granola on top instead of sliced almonds Okay, so I have the muffins in the oven. It said bake at 425 for five minutes, and then I'm gonna reduce the heat to 350 and bake for 14 to 16 minutes. While that's baking, um, welcome to all the new people, all the new subscribers that I had over from Roots and Refuge. So glad to have you. So if you are new here, you might not know, we moved into this um, mobile home in October, and we wanted to redo the kitchen and other parts of the um, house, but I decided that it was more important for me to start on my garden uh, than the inside because I love gardening better than the way my house would look in the inside as long as it has everything it needs. And so, uh, yeah, so up here you can see there is markings on the wall. These all used to have upper cabinets and we took them down like the first week we were here because I want to do open shelvings. Of course, I want to paint the walls first. We did end up painting the laundry room before starting on outside, getting our gardens in, which I'm so happy that I did because it's so lovely and so pretty. And so, yeah, so now we'll start focusing back on, you know, the inside and the kitchen, starting with the kitchen probably, or the bathroom, I'm not sure. But just wanted to let you know that it's not like mold or anything like that on my walls. It is just where we whipped out the cabinets and, um, and we haven't done anything with it yet but i will see you guys back when these muffins come out of the oven and we'll give them a taste test when they cool down okay they come out the oven i'm gonna take them out put them on a cooling rack and then let them cool and we'll taste one okay so my four-year-old daughter Nayel is ready to taste muffin are you ready to taste muffin mm -hmm. I she said that it's not hot anymore it's only been probably five or ten minutes so she touched it and said it's not hot you ready to taste muffin okay y'all can have a muffin and y'all tell me what it tastes like yeah it tastes like it tastes like nuts it tastes like bread does it taste yummy so the truth, Mia. Uh, kind of. Kind of. What do you think, Mia? It tastes yummy. What do you think, Mia? It tastes super yummy. It tastes super yummy. Tell them that it tastes super yummy. It tastes super yummy. So it tastes super yummy for one. It's kind of tastes yummy for Nehemiah. What don't you like? The nuts. That's not nuts. That is granola. Mm -hmm. The granola. So you don't have the granola. I don't like the inside right here. <laughs> Whatever that point is. It's dry carrots, yeah. Let me see. It's three right there. That's the, what do you mean? That's the muffin. Yeah, but it's dry carrots on the upper side. So, <laughs> but actually let me taste one. Mm. I think it tastes fine. Because you're the one who made it. No, not because I made it. Because it tastes yummy. Mm. I think it tastes yummy. And it's very squishy. And spongy. And I can taste the parsnips. And I grew that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. You got food around your mouth. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.